Whilst the economy is going south, our space dreams are going up. To the space station paving the way for future missions beyond. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Marston, the Zim Tech Guy. So in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Zimbabwe's satellite launch, which is happening as early as August 2022. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, please hit the thumbs up button. So let's get into it. Did you know that Zimbabwe has its own version of NASA, which was launched back in 2018, abbreviated ZINGSA? which stands for the Zimbabwe National Geospatial and Space Agency. So the satellite is going to be launched sometime in July or August, depending on weather conditions. ZIMSAT-1 is a nano satellite, which was uh, built by local engineers in collaboration with uh, scientists at the Kyushu Institute of Technology in Japan. Now, the purpose of this satellite, according to the government of Zimbabwe, is to enhance mineral exploration monitoring of environmental hazards, droughts, mapping human settlements, disease outbreaks, among many other capabilities. Now, this satellite is not independent. It is not going into space alone to be part of the Japanese Kibo module, which is also known as JAM, the Japanese Experimental Module. So at this stage, uh, ZIMSAT looks like more it's experimental, and I'm sure that those are part of the stages uh, that take place before it is fully deployed. So not sure how long it will be experimented for and uh, how other modalities will be working. The information is a bit tight at the moment, but stay subscribed to give you that information once it comes through. For me, it's just the fact that uh, we also now have a satellite into space. I know for many people, they'll be trying to contrast it and saying, hey, they could have used the money for something else. but the way I see it is, you know what, at least a Zimbabwean kid can wake up, you know, with the dreams of becoming an astronaut. And who knows, maybe in the near future it will happen. So with this satellite launch, Zimbabwe becomes the 14th country on the continent to have a satellite in orbit. Although I, I take the word orbit loosely, because since it's going to be part of the Kibo module, which is attached to the International Space Station, it will be in orbit relative to where the International Space Station is. But anyway, that being aside, you know, it's in orbit. It's more like um, like a bird hitching a ride on an elephant. You know, you get what I'm saying? But nonetheless, whatever it is, man, this is good news for the country as well. You know, just in terms of us being registered or recorded as the 14th country to have achieved this feat, it's actually good for us at the end of the day. I don't know. What do you guys think? Was it uh, uh, the best priority to make at this moment? So that's news coming out of Zimbabwe. And uh, if the satellite launches, uh, just stay subscribed. I'll be updating you on other things as they roll out. What do you think of this development? Leave a comment down below as usual. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video.